Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Everything Tesla Stock. Did you know that a seasoned investor stated that the current price of the company's shares is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to buy? The fact that so many well-known individuals have made this claim may make it sound corny or even like a marketing ploy to get people to buy Tesla shares. To find out what the leading electric vehicle manufacturer, Ron Barron, a well-known investor and evangelist for Tesla, has to say about all of this, so you'll want to pay attention and keep watching. The largest investment firms have split between supporters and detractors of the company. You'll see in today's video why Ron Barron claimed that purchasing Tesla shares at this price is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I observed the greatest yearly rate of inflation minus 8.6 in over 40 years. The Federal Reserve's benchmark interest rate increased by 75 basis points as a result, marking the largest increase since 1994. Due to strong central bank tightening and soaring inflation, the stock market had its worst week since the beginning of the economic crisis. Now, pessimistic economists are forecasting a replay of the late 1970s and early 1980s, when comparable levels of inflation and high interest rates led to market fragility and a deep recession. Considering experts, the following are the likelihoods of inflation and a global recession. The current state of affairs might not seem as dreadful to long-term investors as price reductions brought on by the broader market downturn, which would offer chances to buy premium brands in failing industries. Billionaire investor Ron Barron, who gained notoriety for providing alpha via his Twitter account, believes that the current market is a once-in-a-generational opportunity to buy. As a bear market for stocks begins, Barron says this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to buy, and it's also a great chance to take advantage of all of these once-in-a-lifetime benefits. The CEO and founder of Barron Capital, Ron Barron, stated in an email to CNBC that the S&P 500 has fallen to its lowest point since late 2020. Nevertheless, he said that, given the long-term state of the economy, the current sell-off in major U.S. equity indexes offers Americans a great opportunity to purchase. In 1982, when he introduced Barron Capital and comparing the current situation to the beginning of his professional career, the Barron noted that the early 1980s were another time when the markets crashed due to the Federal Reserve's vigorous efforts to control inflation. He also mentioned that his two sons, who are investors, now have equal opportunities. He did so when he founded Barron Capital, an investment management firm with headquarters in New York City and a reputation for long-term investing strategies in 1982, the year the Dow Jones Industrial Average hit 880 during a bear market. Wall Street terms a bear market, which typically indicates an economic slump, as a stock market loss at at least 20% over an extended period of time. According to a financial content site Seeking Alpha, the most recent bear market started on February 19, 2020, and ended on March 23, which is a little over a month later. The consequences of Covert 19 were primarily to blame for this 33-day shortfall as the stock market recovered later that year and continued to rise until 2021. This economic crisis was the worst that the nation had ever experienced. The Fed investor argued that a solid technological foundation built over the last few decades has underpinned the current economy and pointed the way to significant upside potential over an extended period of time. If you haven't already, please tell us in the comments area below if you would purchase Tesla shares. After yet another brutal sell-off on Wall Street, Barron cited Tesla and other brands as examples of the kind of companies that could spur the next wave of technological innovation. The S&P 500 fell more than 3% on Thursday, while the Nasdaq fell more than 4%. The fund manager's comments were in response to investors' fears that the Fed's rate hike program would eventually trigger a recession. The SPP 500 finished below 3,700 for the first time since December 2020, a decline of more than 23 points in 2022. Barron maintains a long-term bullish perspective, but recently, there has been more fear about a possible short-term recession as a whole. Despite this, we remain optimistic and generally don't give short-term issues like inflation and oil prices much thought. Rates of interest and the crisis involving Russia and Ukraine, although inflation is a constant concern, I have never heard many people discuss it in my lifetime. According to Barron, the average annual rate of inflation is 4-5%, to or nearly doubling every 14-15 to years. There is a notable prediction made by Barron that the stock market will double every 10 to 12 years, or roughly 7 to 8 percent. This prediction broadly aligns with the guidelines and emphasizes long-term investing over day trading. The investor went on to discuss the financial advantages of seeing compound interest grow. 
Today's investors must choose stocks that are likely to gain in the future, even if they are currently chief investment officer of Defiance EFT Sylvia Jablonski, who expressed optimism upon discovering that inflation had hit a 40-year high, echoes Barron's thoughts. This is a wonderful chance for the next generation. This will all seem like noise when you look back on it. Squawk Box keeps announcing that investors should expect range-bound volatility in the near term, but the upcoming months will be exceedingly nasty. She added, It's awful, but if we just have to get through it, then everything should be okay. How people profit from the stock market may intrigue some. Stock markets have produced affluent investors for over a century. Half a century ago, a $10,000 investment in the stock market could have generated a portfolio valued in the hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars. Stocks returned 10.5% annually on average between 1957 and 1921. Yet capital gains can vary greatly throughout companies. Although stock market investment has proven to be one of the most successful ways to create wealth over time, there are alternative ways to achieve the same 10.5% annual growth rate, also referred to as the cage or compound annual growth rate. Generally speaking, investors have two strategies at their disposal to make money in the market. Buying and holding is the first approach, which has traditionally caused investment money to grow exponentially. Investors can benefit from this strategy in two ways. Growth in capital and dividends capital appreciation is the difference between the market price of a particular stock or mutual fund and the acquisition cost. Until the contract is realized, capital appreciation is not taxed. At that moment, it is called a capital gain. Conversely, dividends are a significant way for stockholders to get paid for buying and keeping stocks. When a company turns a profit, it pays its shareholders a quarterly dividend in cash. It gives some of its income as dividends to shareholders in addition to the buy and hold strategy, with the remaining half being retained by the business as retained earnings. Leveraged equity trading can be profitable for investors, and they can employ additional instruments like futures to increase the returns on their bets. Short selling is a common investing practice used by hedge funds and traders to sell shares that the seller does not own. Investors who short a stock believe that the price will fall in the future so they sell the stock now by borrowing it from brokers in order to purchase it back at a lower price later if the stock price December options are a great alternative to futures because they give the contract holder the right to buy but not obligation to buy or sell the underlying share. However, investing is risky in and of itself, so you should dedicate enough time and effort to researching the stocks you are interested in. Risks and chances for more Tesla stock content are there in Tesla too. Select one of these two videos to watch on your screen while you're here. I'll see you over there.